In today's video, I'm going above and beyond what a Zoom setup can or even should be. It's like off limits crazy what I'm about to show you. It's a Zoom setup that I believe is what should be the ultimate Zoom setup. Uh, it's very overkill, I warn you, and after testing it, I don't think it's even that practical, but it's part of my research and development into uh, mastering Zoom and really delivering the best video and audio uh, quality possible. So here we go, it's actually right behind me. It's using a teleprompter to be able to uh, use as a screen for displaying your meeting. Essentially, the people you're speaking with are projected onto a mirror and you're able to then look directly at them while the camera lens is looking directly at you. So it's shooting through the glass so you're able to have direct eye contact with your audience. You're not distracted by having to look up at a webcam or to the side. You're really just looking at the screen and your lens is looking at you. Now I'll run you through the tech setup we have. It's really quite beautifully simple when you think about it. Everything is run on the, this MacBook Pro. It's a 13 inch 2016 MacBook Pro and I have a USB-C hub connected to it. Here I have two connections. One is a USB-C connecting to this iPad Air 4. This iPad Air is running sidecar to be able to display a second image onto the teleprompter. And we also have a HDMI capture card. I made a video about this capture card specifically. It lets you turn any compatible camera into a webcam and it's fantastic. It was my best purchase of 2020. This runs an HDMI cable all the way to my camera here, which is a Fujifilm X-E3, which is shooting through this teleprompter. So it's really quite simple. I'm bringing the screen I want onto the iPad, in this case, a Zoom meeting. The person I'm speaking to on Zoom is displayed on the teleprompter and my camera is shooting through this teleprompter, through the glass, so I'm able to look at the person I'm speaking to directly. Now, another use case that would be possible with this is actually displaying, using the teleprompter as a normal teleprompter and displaying text. So there's tons of apps available for that. There's apps that follow the rhythm of your voice and do a speech to text. So as you speak, the text is scrolling through the iPad reflected onto the teleprompter. So you're able to do pre-recorded videos or do speeches. In this case, if I was hosting an event, for example, I could have the people I'm speaking to displayed on the screen. And then if I had to MC a part of it, I could simply swipe my three fingers to bring up the teleprompter app and then uh, direct or, or read what I need to say from the app and then come back to the screen with everyone on it. What's really cool about that, no one sees what you're doing. You have the, the, the computer beneath you, so you're able to do those manipulations without anyone seeing and uh, it could lead to a really seamless experience for if you're hosting an event. The downsides with all of this are quite multiple. <laughs> One, uh, there's a cost involved. You have to get an iPad Pro that's compatible with Sidecar. Two, the iPad itself natively with Sidecar does not have mirroring capabilities. So what that means is the image is inverted, is upside down when it's projected onto the teleprompter. I tried to find a workaround for this. I haven't found one yet, unfortunately. So when you're navigating with the mouse on the iPad itself, your motions are backwards. So all the buttons and text are backwards and the person you're speaking to is also flipped. A way to fix this is while the iPad, I actually put it upside down. So the person you're speaking to, well, I'll show you right now on screen, it looks fine. Their image is just mirrored that way, but text is also mirrored that way. So you'll see the buttons at the bottom. All this is unfortunately upside down and there's nothing really you could do about that. All in all, this is a solution that can be good for some people. If you're hosting a lot of events, if you're reading a lot of text and need a teleprompter, um, or if you're really bad at looking at the camera at j just in general, or you're always distracted by something, this is a good alternative. Um, all in all, I wanted to see what the, the future of uh, virtual events could be. And I, I'm a strong believer it's going to head into this direction. I don't think we're there yet. 
Um, there's tons of little problems with this and it's really quite a technical setup, so it's definitely not for everybody. But I believe in the future, laptops will natively have a teleprompter functionality, whereas the webcam will really be built in behind the screen itself. So you could be looking at your people on Zoom and the webcam is looking directly at you, even maybe using some eye tracking technology uh, to be able to follow you and always have direct eye contact. Wouldn't that be great? That'd be a wonderful world. We're not there yet. We see it with smartphones where you have the camera built in behind the glass. So in time, we're moving in that direction, but for now, webcams are still the worst possible quality. It films like a potato and we need to find ways to innovate and uh, make <laughs> Zoom calls better to have a video, better video quality. I hope this video you found it interesting and it, you could see where I'm at with my thinking. Honestly, I don't think I'll really use this much. I'm actually considering returning this iPad because at the end of the day, uh, I thought it would be more user friendly, but to set all this up to be able to use it for calls is really just not that practical. But I'm going to still test other applications and see what's possible. But I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one.